What's up my friends? Did you just Google how to format a hard drive? If you did, you're in the right spot. Let's jump right into it. In a recent video of mine, I showed people how to move photos from a hard drive directly to an iPhone. The video was very, very successful. However, there was one question that continued to pop up. And that question was, how do I format my drive? So before I show you how to format the drive, I think it's important to give just a little bit of education on why you would format your drive differently. When it comes to drives, there's basically two different formatting options. You have NTFS. NTFS is the primary file system used by Microsoft Windows. However, if you're moving files between Windows and let's say iOS, you're gonna want to use something called X. Fat. I'm not really smart enough to know what XFAT is and I just don't want to Google it. But the point is, the format should be XFAT. XFAT is more portable and works with more devices while NTFS is primarily used on Windows. Because I film a lot of my videos on my iPhone and then I edit on a Windows device, I like to make sure that my hard drives are all formatted in XFAT. A few steps before you actually format your drive. One thing to be aware of, when you format a drive, it is going to delete and remove everything that you had on that drive previously. You should move anything from that drive that you want to keep to another device so that you can make sure you keep it saved. The last thing you want to do is accidentally erase all of your information. That'll really ruin your day. It's happened to me before, not fun. With that out of the way, I'm going to share my screen and show you quickly how to format your drive. The first thing you're going to need is your drive. I use this SanDisk SSD. These are really, really awesome. Now I will put the caveat that some people have had issues with the four terabyte version of this. I have the one terabyte. I know that the two terabyte has pretty good reviews. I've never had that experience with these drives and maybe that experience is yet to come. We'll see. This has worked phenomenally for me. I've had this for a long time. It's super portable. I can take it wherever I'm going. It's thin. I've just really, really loved it. It really doesn't matter what drive you're using, but I just wanted to mention that this particular drive is linked in the description of this video if you're interested. First thing you're going to do is take the drive and plug it into your computer. Pretty simple process from here. All I'm doing is I'm selecting the three dots and there's a lot of things you can do. You can clean up, you can optimize your space, all of these different options and I can go through that in different videos but for the purposes of this video you're just gonna hit format this little screen pops up you can see the capacity of the drive this is a one terabyte drive the file system that is selected this is your format so you can format it in NTFS so a lot of people who are trying to plug this drive into an iPhone to move photos and files and then take it to a Windows device the formatting doesn't work on both devices Devices. So what do you need to do? You need to change it from NTFS to XFAT. Once you do that, you can scroll down and just hit start. Warning, this is the important warning. Formatting will erase all data on this disk. To format the disk, click OK. To quit, click cancel. That's important. If you have not cleared your drive, you're gonna really be angry if you format. All you have to do, is click OK, and then it will go through the process of formatting your drive to XFAT. Once that process is run, the drive has a new format and you're ready to go. All right, I feel like that was a pretty simple video. It boils down to the fact that if you want to be able to use an Apple device and edit on a Windows device, you're gonna need to select XFAT. That will make the process really easy and seamless because then you can move files between those two different devices and the formatting will work out just fine. Hopefully this is a helpful video. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please consider doing so. We're having a lot of fun. We've grown a lot and I want to just say thank you to everyone that has subscribed and we're going to continue to create content that answers the questions that you have. Thank you for being here. My name is Spenny. This channel is Spill the Goods. We'll talk to you soon.